So if you don't know, Andrew Tate just got banned from Instagram and I think Facebook, Instagram and Facebook, because they're connected. He just got banned from Instagram and Facebook. And I think one of the driving factors for that is this guy named, what's his name? Daz Games. His name is Daz Games, I guess. I don't even know him. He, Daz Black. Daz Black. That's his name. So, you know, um, I seen the video or at least some of the video, not, not all of it. Um, you know, it was, it is what it was, you know? Okay. You know? But one thing I thought was interesting was his community post. This is his community post as to what he posted. So let's just look at it. Let's just look at it. So if you notice right here, he says he that he says right here, he's almost gone Dazzler. So I guess that's what he calls his community Dazzlers. Such a weird name. But yeah, Dazzlers, you know that. <laughs> Come on now. It's, and he said, for your information, this is what a fat YouTube gamer can do. So he is proud. Right now, he is very proud of himself from for deep platforming somebody that he disagrees with. He does not like their lifestyle, so I don't like how they're doing things. I don't like them, so they should be they should be deep platform. They shouldn't have a chance to speak their piece. They shouldn't have any type of recourse to what I just said. I think they, they should be gone. They are dangerous, even though I'm a regular person. I shouldn't get to choose what is what is dangerous or not. Whatever. Let's keep going now. Let's keep going. I just want to I just want to show you guys the comments. No hate to these people. I don't even think you care about them. You shouldn't even care about them. But no hate to them. I just want to just show you guys some of the comments. It's just weird. This is, this is going to be a short video. I just want to show you guys. He said, well done. This guy said, well done. It's disturbing how many people actually like this Tate guy and believe in what he says or most of it. Much love, everyone and Daz. So he's happy that Andrew Tate got the platform from Instagram. This guy said, man, it's crazy how many people actually look up to this guy and how many people he has manipulated. Good to know that there are still people against him. Wow. Like, how do I explain this? Me personally, me personally, I have never had a the soul or the heart of a hater. I never had hatred for anybody. It's, it's one thing to disagree with people. But to wish them to be the platform, to wish them their livelihood, I guess it's not Andrew Tate's livelihood, but most people, you know, get a lot of money off of the internet now. To wish people, like, you know, their, basically their manhood, like, gone. Like, to wish them the platform so they cannot speak anymore, I think it's just, it's just weird. That's just weird to me. I don't know. Keep going. This made me smile, Daz. This guy needed to be stopped. He's absolutely crazy. The fact that people actually think that he's a good guy is so weird. Edit. Stop fucking arguing. I don't want to see that shit. All right. I give a fuck about you. But um, yeah. Like he's happy. He said this made him smile. It made him smile that some somebody who doesn't even know him, nobody like nobody cares about you guys. Somebody who does not care about you, who's not really hurting you specifically, who's not really hurting anybody. If you really look at what he says, he's happy that somebody he supports played a platform and played a part in deep platforming him that's that's ridiculous to me. that's ridiculous but let's keep going making me feel just a little safer in this world knowing can influence use his platform his platform to see to help spread awareness and potentially get rid of a sexist and abusive man thank you Daz. it makes you feel a little safer this is just pathetic like these are like the type of these are just like the type of fans that these type of people that, you know, make this type of content breed. They, they, they have soft fans. They have weirdo fans that like, like this shit. And it's just weird to me. And the people that I see doing this the most, and I'm sorry to say it, but it's liberals. I'm very neutral. I'm very centrist, but it's really like liberals that do it though. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't see people on the right doing it too much. I just see liberals doing it, people on the left. But let's keep going. I'm someone who survived domestic abuse. Thank you so much, Dash, for all you've done to help rid social media of that vile monster. You're amazing. There has been, so the videos that he showed, now I don't even know the proof he had because he said he couldn't show the proof of the person with the phone call. So that's mute. Nobody has to talk about that. The videos I've seen, even though they were crazy, I'm gonna be honest, I'm like, oof, even if it was act like, oh my God, I, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't, that couldn't be me. You know, that couldn't be me, but it was him. And, that, and it was consensual with him and his, you know, significant other. So what is the problem with that? Domestic abuse? But I don't think that, at least the ones that I've seen, the videos that he made, you know, the girl that he was whipping with a belt, slapped her. It was, uh, like I said, that was crazy. She said, why didn't you hit me harder? Why didn't you hit me like a man? <laughs> why didn't you hit me like a man? She had like a whole tattoo in the light, brother. She looked crazy, but 
so it's consensual though you know what i mean she was making fun of it now i don't know you could you could claim oh she's just acting because andrew tate forced her well you you don't know that i thought it was i thought it was innocent until proven guilty not not the opposite not guilty until proven innocent so what are you what are you trying to say about that let's keep going now we all appreciate what you have done dad thank you as well as everyone else who has helped one thing i just don't understand why do people care so much and put so much emphasis on people's downfalls especially on like a specific person why do you have so much hate in your soul for somebody that you will wish them to be deplatformed this is so ridiculous to me why just keep going though you know i'm you know i'm getting a little irritated because this can happen to really anybody that these type of people disagree with if they disagree with these type of people they just deplatform them call call daddy instagram call daddy facebook call twitter call whatever other social media it is call all of that say hey i want them gone they're gonna look into it oh wait i actually agree with them you know it's not neutral i actually agree with them so i'm just gonna delete them this is the type of stuff that they do so let's keep going on we're just gonna read a couple more just to show you it's gonna be a short video i am so proud of everyone who has come together to get him punished everyone deserved justice thank you Daz. By punished, I mean about his socials. To someone who is that stuck in his own head, his social media and social status will mean a lot to him. So it will, it would still be a punishment. It's a step in the right direction. These people want him punished. People that really have no lives, as you ask. I, I genuinely believe this. If you care that much about somebody's downfall, if you care that much and you're invested that much into somebody's demise, into somebody's, you know, thing because you think that they're so dangerous you're invested in them that much i think that you have no life personally that's just me i think that you have zero life if you are actually that invested in another human being's life to see them you know to, to see them go like that to see them deplatform like that to see them be happy that they're de deplatformed i think that you have no life personally if you care that much because think about it you guys do a lot of stuff that we like you know people on you know i'm on i'm on andrew say side side so I would disagree with a lot of stuff that you guys are probably doing, but I will not judge you. I will not want to deplatform you. You know, I wouldn't want to do any of that stuff. So why would you do that to him? I don't get it. why. Why is it that people are so inclusive to all different thought processes, all different sexualities, all different this and that? But then the moment that they disagree, especially people on this side, you know, liberal leftists, I'm going to call them leftists, not necessarily liberal. People on that side, they usually just don't, you know, accept what they don't agree with, though. But you, you, but you're all inclusive to all this other stuff, though. But not when it's just something that you don't agree with. Whatever. Honestly, I think that's good. To be honest, I think that's good. I just wanted to show you guys his comment section and what he's like. What his, what type of followers that he breeds. He breeds followers that prey on other people's downfall. They, they really, they really are happy about it. To me, that's just pathetic. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's pathetic to me. A lot of these people up in these comments to me are pathetic. And I seen it earlier. And I just wanted to show you guys. I'm like, really? To me, it's just, just weird, but whatever. Just wanted to show you guys. All right, all right. Yay, daddy. I'm out. Peace.